Tail Beast Bomb, Naruto and Kurama. I can't believe I've never, I don't think I've ever drawn a Tail Beast Bomb. I don't think so, anyway. Well, we are going to fix that today. So, Naruto in front, Kurama at the back, and then that big orb. So when you're drawing, like, circles and orbs and stuff, stencils and or, like, a compass or a cup or something around to draw, draw around might help you. Or you can freehand it like a baller. Landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. So Naruto is, they're both kind of in profile. Naruto's a little bit three quarter, but we're going to start it like a profile. So we're going to go with the nose. So it's like this upside down seven or like an L shape, right? Just to get us started. So we go diagonal out. It goes to the tip of the nose, and then we'll bring it back around into there. Right, so it's like a seven or a scythe, you know, those things you they used to cut grass with or something, or an L. And then we have our nostril. And then this just like, he's got, he's frowning quite heavily, right? So he's got some like wrinkles on his nose, just at the top here. Okay. So it becomes like a Z sort of shape. <clears throat> so brow area, right? Just here above the nose, right? That's like what we call a brow. So then you know where the eyebrow is, right? It's in the name. So he's frowning pretty heavy. And so it starts here, a little frown line. And then this ticks right up this way. So it's kind of like a Nike sort of tick or a check mark, right? And then his, his eyebrow is yellow. So you just do a double so you can color it yellow inside. <clears throat> Frowning real heavy, okay? So his eye is underneath the eyebrow. And it's touching it basically, right? So it like comes out from say, well, the back eyelid line, it's like, say it darkens up everything underneath here first. So it goes like up here and kind of touches the eyebrow, curves around and then hooks itself sort of down in that Naruto standard eye shape. It's got that little hook there, right? Then there's a bit of a, like a gap and then we just have the skinnier bottom eye line. And there might be like just some eyelid lines and stuff above. So again, he is frowning pretty heavy, so they give him like another sort of wrinkle on his nose there. <clears throat> so the orange iris line, right? So it's like an ellipse, right? So it's a skinny circle. So you just like curve it around. Because like we're viewing the eye from the side, you just want to make it like a little bit skinnier than normal. And it makes it look like he's going, looking that way. So he has sage kurma eyes. So they go, we've got that cross sort of shape, right? So we'll go the vertical line. And then it comes just across and like a little bit thicker for the sage shape. Okay. <clears throat> so his other eye is like in here, but it's it's like beyond this frown and it's quite small. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add, say maybe his headband and the side of the face shape. So we'll go like across this way. Just a curved line for his headband just across the eyebrow here. And this will go all the way to his ear at some point down there. And then his other eye is like in this space here. So basically we can just see like two sort of bumping curves like that, right? And then the eyebrow, everything's real small now in here. So the eyebrow goes like underneath the headband that way. And then his eyelid line, dark sort of kind of eyelashes and stuff.
just there. And then the iris and the pupil itself, real small, skinny, just sort of looking off that way. Can't really see much. <clears throat> but then we have the sage core in my eye again. So I think I'll leave the eye like that because if I added more, it might like all just blend in together. <clears throat> so mouth, open mouth screaming, right? So curved line across there looks like his mouth is closed but we will open it up by going down that way it's just relatively straight lines actually the way they draw it and then his bottom lip comes that way so it's like just a box and they could have like a bottom lip line just there so inside there we have teeth <clears throat> bottom teeth just carve across top teeth we can see a bit more like of the molars at the back so it goes like back here and then the top teeth go across that way <clears throat> and then we can see the tongue just coming in behind the teeth here so you just do this bumpy sort of situation and then the back of his throat black okay so chin quite square in this one so it goes across that way and up towards his jaw right and because we're in three-quarter like you have a different line right so you just have the jaw on this side which goes up towards his ear there and then on this side we have his cheek so it dips in and then comes out and up towards the nose okay now above the jaw we have his sideburn which is just a v and then his ear but it goes he's got that big kurma cloak right so his ear kind of disappears behind this big cloak shape here right just a big cloak like that <clears throat> and then his ear will go in behind like so and maybe like we can see some like ear lines and stuff inside and then he's got those darker cheek marks those sort of rectangles, right? And you can color these black or they could be a sort of a dark or really dark gray if you want. And since I have a black pen, I'll just do black while I'm here. Okay, I'm just gonna like scratch him up a bit as well. Like he's been fighting. <clears throat> and then we can see this the back of his neck and then the front of his neck there. And his collar, like so. Right, we just move up, do his headband and his yellow hair. So, comes up this way. And then the back. Just comes across. Comes across the front.
and then the silver part well it's all orange but just sort of curves around here <clears throat> and you could have some metal studs and then the leaf symbol here so his spikes have those kurma ears sort of inbuilt into them right so we got like short spikes and long ones then a big one and then some short ones and then we have a longer one just here they're kind of supposed to be, I think, Kurma's, like Kurma's ears. Okay. So then we have his sort of headband lines. Just these kind of, they're kind of tattered and spiky because of all the energy coming off his body. Another one, you could do them kind of random, don't have to be exactly like mine. Right, so, so I'm going to just continue the cloak just down his body, sort of going that way. And then his shoulder sort of goes along off this way. <clears throat> He's kind of just screaming, launching himself forward. We've got like his armpit kind of area here. You know, his arm sort of goes off back this way. Got some fold lines <clears throat> just coming across here. <clears throat> and then the front, so it goes like down here. And then see his cloak on the other side runs down that way and then his body and his shoulder on the other side just here bumping down again just off the page there So then he has some symbols on his chest and his shoulders. So just these, they're the same as the ones that are in the Sharingan. They kind of look like number nines. Coming around there. And it looks like there's like a bit of a circle or something here, just starting. And then there's some circles on his shoulder. kind of a thing <clears throat> just there
Right, so that's Naruto. Well, he just, he has actually Sage Six Path sort of orbs in behind. There's like one here. So we'll just go with a circle. Again, if you have a circle that you can trace around, nothing wrong with doing that. One there and kind of like another one sort of going behind his back here. There's another one up here, maybe, but it kind of slightly goes off my page, so I'm going to leave it. <clears throat> right, Kurma. So, there's a lot of energy in this picture, so it's hard to see most of Kurma. But we can do a good job. So his eye is up here, right? And it's like an ellipse again. So we'll go with that. So we'll go like, he's looking up, right? So it's like a skinny circle, just like here. So this then is like inside a dark sort of section. I wouldn't call it black. It, they kind of do it dark navy, sort of a blue. Maybe that's just compared to the orange though. So it kind of goes up this way. goes up behind Naruto's sort of orb up there and then back down. Kind of gets a bit wider than that actually. I'll bring it down this way. Okay, and I'll just erase that. I went a bit skinny with that one. Okay, so no, his snout, sort of his nostril, <clears throat> like nose area, comes up here. <clears throat> and then we have a couple of frowning sort of lines that go back then. This way, right across the top of the head, and we get to like ears and stuff. sort of hairy ears go behind Naruto's orb and then the ear on the other side we can just see it sort of flowing back here somewhere so this ear will go back into his head somewhere down here and he's got like a big shoulder here we'll just finish the the nose part so he's got like a dog's sort of nose let's sort of shape like that and then the front of the snout comes down and then we have his gum line sort of just bumping kind of across the top here and down the side of the mouth and there's like a frowning sort of wrinkle there <clears throat> this mouth shape keeps going his mouth is real wide you know he's generating the tail beast bomb so it's open real wide and his chin comes down this way and he's got like hair and or chakra sort of on his chin and then this will go like for its jaw up behind Naruto and then his neck sort of comes down this way joins the shoulder and sort of his arm goes off here and then like his chest or something just goes that way And then his body and his arm inside, say like here. And his other shoulder, we'll just get the main shapes and then we'll add the details. So his other shoulder, it's like real big in behind Naruto, I think. 
what would it be? Maybe up here. So if that's like the back of his head, yeah, he should have a big shoulder there. <clears throat> so we'll go. down that way somewhere right so then he has those black and white shapes on his face <clears throat> those big black stripes that Naruto has coming down this way And then teeth, so big fangs, right? Coming out of the bottom of his mouth. And like smaller ones here. And then a big one there. <clears throat> and then smaller ones. That way. And then on the top. side coming down back into the mouth and because this is the inside of his mouth you'll see like <clears throat> the tops of the teeth sort of forming on the inside but he is just like orange so there's not like a lot of skin or anything <clears throat> and then his gum line just in between and then his mouth curves down here and we can just see like his tongue just in here So Kurma then has some <clears throat> some of those circles kind of on his shoulder. Run down his arm. I think up here too. Well, what we can see of it. So we'll just like put one here. And then going around. So that's black, then that's like his orange skin, and then we'll have like an extra bullseye line just sort of going around here. <clears throat> And of course, like, there's, like, all oh, chakra and stuff, like, coming off these guys. But you can do as much of that as you want. <clears throat> right? And then our tail beast bomb will be coming out of his mouth here. <clears throat> so, so like the edge will be here somewhere. And I'll just sort of sketch it roughly, just to get the size kind of right. right. So I don't know if you can see that now, but. And then we'll just darken up this. Now it is like a black sort of ball sort of shape anyway, so. Okay. And normally with the 
pale beast bombs. There's like all these orbs kind of floating around us. Like sometimes there's like a double one. Like this got kind of like an ace or something. <clears throat> and then there'd be like wind and energy and stuff all. Might be one even like on top, you know, like a different color. <clears throat> it's like these little blobs of stuff kind of form around it, you know, like so. And you can do as much of this energy now as you want. Just filling up the space, you know. <clears throat> okay, Naruto, Kurama, Beast Bomb. Hope it's helpful, Tail Beast Bomb. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one, bye.